everybody and welcome back to Card Making 101 Lesson 8. How crazy is that? So quick has that flown. Well, I'm excited, but let me introduce myself quickly first. My name is Tatiana and I'm Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator in Port Macquarie area. Hello Tanya, thanks for joining me. If you are watching live, you know you are because you're either on Facebook and you can see the live button there's no other way either I don't know why I said either it's just you know you're live because you'll see the little red live um, if you're watching later and there's no live that's okay please still say hi and let me know how you're traveling I'd love to hear from you if you're watching on YouTube thank you so much for joining me please subscribe to my videos to get them all to not miss one, should I say. Hello, Renee, thanks for joining me. I have been doing a series of videos introducing people to the wonderful world of card making. All of these cards behind me, I have made by hand, um, just using simple tools that are ink, stamp, and paper. Of course, I like to add a little bit of embellishment. Hello, Vicky, thanks for joining me. But all you basically need is ink, stamp, and paper, and I've been showing you that wonderful world in my, my series of card making, which I've called Card Making 101. Now, today I'm going to take a look at kits. Kits are a fantastic way to start card making. They have everything you need, and they're really quick and easy and fun. So let's flip the camera and get to the craft desk and start stamping. Wonderful. So welcome. Here is my craft desk and I just quickly wanted to go through what our previous lessons look like. The basis of my card making 101 has been off this wonderful brochure. It is the Create Experience Creativity brochure from Stamping Up. And if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator here in Australia, I would love to be your demonstrator and I'd love to send you one. So there's a link in the description of this video to request a catalogue. Now, let's go quickly go through and see how what where we've been. The first lesson was simply stamp, ink and paper. These were using note cards and two inks and one stamp set from the catalogue next to me. And we created these wonderful cards. They were quick and easy. That was lesson one. Lesson two, we stepped it up and we added a piece of cardstock. As you can see, there's that border around. That means we stamped on a separate piece of cardstock and glued it to the same note cards and envelopes as in lesson one. Then in lesson three, we introduced a punch, giving us a bit more interest and differences in our cards. Same materials, except we've added the punch. Lesson four, we stepped it up a little bit more and we added some rhinestones, just some, some glitz and glamour, but we used the exact same products. And then in lesson five, I showed that you can add colour to your cards by using coloured cardstock. So that was when we created these with using these wonderful note cards, scalloped note cards. These are all available in my store as well. Hey Kayleen, oh Kayleen, not Kayleen, hey Kayla. How was work today? Welcome back. So what have I up to? That was one, two, three, four, five. Lesson six, we looked at memory and malls. This is using the new holiday catalogue memory and malls. I uh, can't remember the name, but we created all these wonderful cards so quickly. That was literally not long. I think all of those cards was, what, 20 minutes or something like that. And that was just a bit of playing around and deciding and looking as well. Hey Kayla, multitasking. Don't we always multitask? When don't we multitask? And then lesson seven, which was last week, I showed you a different stamp and I showed the coloring in pencils, the water coloring pencils, which we didn't add water, but you could to blend out the color. And I showed how you can add color, multiple colors quite easily with one ink pad and a set of pencils. And tonight, I'm really excited. We are using a kit. This is a fantastic way of having a collection of cards at home with everything that you need. 
this is the kit that we're using so it's on pages four and five of the experience creativity brochure and this is the kit but let's not look at it there let's take a look at it here I think I need to lift up my camera now just lift that up a tad there we go so that all of it's in so the kits come these particular all-inclusive kits come in a wonderful box which can be used for gifts later so don't throw that out and inside your kit you get an ink spot so it's just a little mini ink pad which is perfect for travel and for these kits because you don't need them too many you get a set of stamps love this one but uh, I'm so very thankful for you happy birthday thanks so much feel better soon and I hear congratulations are in order so a wonderful set of sentiments and now let's open up our kit actually let's take the box away we don't really need that so you also get a block this is a little different to our standard box but these are fantastic they're reusable can be used with any other kit and it's a really good size and I love the feel of these they sit nicely in the hand also get some stamping dimensionals which you've seen me use in this video series and then if we pull this plastic off which I always send to the red cycle centers little plug in there for them we have a rainforest walk here in Port Macquarie and all the red cycle plastic was used to make benches which are scattered all across that Grand Forest Walk so highly recommend supporting that okay so envelopes pre-printed pre-designed envelopes look at that so cute oh and if even different designs let's see so this one has a balloon on the front this one has the palm tree water droplets a tree and the aeroplane now this is the first time I'm ever opening this kit I've never stamped any of these I've not explored this before so do bear with me okay so this clearly makes five different cards one two three four five and you get three of each so we'll just make one of each tonight there's this one with the aeroplane. I'll put that down here. And we'll grab an aeroplane envelope straight away to match. Being a little organized. It's a lovely palm tree. Now this kit has been designed with the male, the special male in your life. So whether it's your dad, your husband, your boyfriend, your son, your brother, um, coach, uh, I don't know who else I can think of, but it has got that masculine twist to it. So a landscape, I'm guessing this one has the tree and there's these beautiful hot air balloons, which seems to be quite a rage lately. And that's the matching envelope. And finally, these raindrops, which we saw that on an envelope before. So there we go. Those are the supplies we need to make one set of those cards. You get an instruction booklet as well. Let's take a look and get stamping. Now, when I do kits, I sometimes do one card at a time or I stamp all of them at once. It doesn't really matter. Let's do one at a time tonight. And this card... Here we need that I hear congratulations are in order so let's peel that off so you just simply peel the stamp off and place it onto your block as so it's photopolymer stamp so you'll be able to see where you're stamping and it looks like we need so they have all these bits part of the stamp kit and we need one of these I'm going to take it out right there. Too easy. Place that 
Yeah. And now, good evening, Kathy. How are you? Now, this ink spot is sealed, and I'm hoping it shows, but there's a perforation right down there. And I recommend, there's one on the other side, I recommend only cutting through one of them. You can use a pair of scissors for that. And by only cutting, I'm well, thank you, Kathy. By only cutting along the one, gives you kind of like a flap to easily close it. There we go. And with this ink spot, because it is so small, the best way to use it is to tap it on. So in the past, I have taken the ink pad, put it down and inked my stamp. This way, I am today doing the opposite because it's a small ink pad. I have to say, I really love these ink pads for advanced stampers when you're using a tool like the Stamparatus. They're fantastic to have around. Now, I don't like the way that looks inked up. It is a brand new stamp and it is a brand new ink pad. What I might do is stamp on a scrap piece of paper first to see how that's going to go. Too bad it's a little a little patchy hello Anita thank you for joining me let's see how we go this time that is patchy if I give that stamp a clean where's my cleaning pad things to do when you're getting patchy ink like that give that stamp a nice clean Press it a few times. I'm well, thank you, Anita. How are you? Hello, Christy. Thanks for joining me. How's your beautiful family? There we go. That's giving us better coverage. Much better. Perfect. Okay. Now we're rolling. So just tap, tap, tap. I've got my little piece there. Line it up and ta da! Give that a clean straight away. I've got that. Let's find the right card base. Here we are. And We've got a little bit of instructions code. So one, if you take here, is to step uh, to stamp in the Bermuda Bay ink, which we've done. Number three is the adhere the adhere using stamping dimensionals. That's three. That's not quite what I thought. Um, and number two, adhere sticker. I've got those two mixed up, but that's okay. We've worked it out. There is a sheet of gold, beautiful gold stickers, and you can just see in the photo that there's this one here. So we peel it off as so, and attach that to on top of our stripes. Line it up, one corner, and pressing a little bit at a time to get it all lined up with those stripes. And now we use the stamping dimensionals. These ones are, I actually like the kit dimensionals a lot better. They're thicker, but it does also mean they get a bit stuck sometimes when you're peeling them off. So it requires double. A double peel but that's okay so I just run my fingernail along the back to help lift it up and we will do these exactly how they are in the instruction booklet it's all been pre-folded 
And there we go. There's our first card all finished. So if you ever need a quick card, you can just grab this. You can change the sentiment. You could have made that a happy birthday. Let's see, where's that? Happy birthday would have fit perfectly in there as well. Pretty much all the sentiments. Yes, all the sentiments would fit there perfectly. Done, so you can absolutely mix and match how you need. Let's move on to the next one. Which is this lovely cityscape. There we go. Here's the cityscape. And we've got this tree envelope. Give that a fold. So easy to fold. This time we need a hexagon, I don't know, Is it a, it's not really a hexagon, but it's a six-sided shape and I do love that sentiment, thanks so much. Can you hear my husband laughing in the background? Because if you can, I do apologise, he's watching something. If you can't, good. <laughs> laughing quite loudly here. Let's hope this one steps quite well. Ink. Ink that up. These inks are, not inks, these stamps are very new and sticky and not treated quite as usual. So we're just going to give that a little bit of a clean. So this is our Simply Chamois. It is just using water. So no fancy tools there. Good. I'm just going to... It's almost like I'm treating the stamp, pre-treating. But now it should be all good. Yep, perfect. Line that up. Thanks so much. Beautiful. And this one... Let's see, one, two, and three. So we have a sticker, those ones. The gold was a sticker sheep, and we've got this beautiful flower. Flower, leaves. You still haven't got your chamois, Tanya. You really need one. You definitely need one. Let's stick this down, making sure it's still on the edge. I've stuck it a different way to the example but that's okay that's no problem at all there is no no right and wrong when you're creating and adding the dimensionals to the back of our sentiment one more Make sure you put this the correct way. And touch. Now, if you find that your card keeps flopping up, turn it to the back and use your block to really press in that score line. And as you can see, now that isn't flapping up at all. And there's our second card done. Bing, bam, boom. Third one, happy birthday. Who doesn't need birthday cards sitting around and waiting? Envelope. I'll definitely do this one as a birthday card. I always need them. Have I told you how many brother-in-laws I have? Too many. No, not too many. Just quite a few. And they all celebrate their birthday. Where's the birthday? Happy birthday stamp. I'm going to just give that a good clean before I ink it up. And we need this lovely bunting going this way. So you can see you could take this kit easily with you. I've um, taken 
on holidays with me kids, other kids, not this particular one. And I've taken it, I've been in, well, I haven't been in hospital. Our son broke his arm and I happened to have a kit in the car because we were visiting and had stayed overnight. And well, let's say it came in handy at breakfast time when he was watching TV and I felt like being a little bit creative. This one has that gold circle embellishment. Now, what you could do is really, you could cut this one in half. How many brothers? My husband is one of eight kids, Christy, and he has, well, take a guess, how many of them are brothers? So how many of them are boys, should I say? Or, I don't know, what's that right phrasing? How many sons did my mother-in-law have out of eight kids? Take a guess. I've lost my, ah, there. It's my fun party trick talking about my in-laws. <laughs> well, they're my family too, really. Um, what is the mat get you are used? Sorry, Anita, I don't follow the question. Renee, not five. No, Christy, not five. In fact, there is more. This is a fun guessing game. And we line this up to the edge. Still showing. Done. Another card. My mother-in-law had more than five sons. And while you keep guessing, I shall bring in the next card. Renee, no, not six. N not eight. That's right, Christy, seven. So there's one girl, my lovely sister-in-law. Well, there's now more. A lot of them are married now, and so we have a bit more female company. <laughs> it has grown. Hope, uh, feel better soon. Do you know what? I don't need many feel better soon cards. So I'm going to create this one as a birthday card as well. We're using the exact same stamp we just did. And what's fantastic about these kits is they make the sentiments all fit into all of these labels quite easily meaning that you can change the sentiment whenever you need to get that clean and we need to now grab the circular how beautiful are these like oh stunning they're so shimmery they're goldy coppery kind of color more copper than gold but not quite copper that down and how easy is that having that on the sticky backed it's just made this card kit business so easy adding my dimensionals to the back peeling them off now when you do use your dimensionals don't throw out the sheet use the edges as well they're fantastic for long pieces so things like that one you could use the edges I don't want that there and line that up nicely and there we go another card done how fun with that that's just I, if I got an envelope like that in the mail that would be exciting that would really make my day and one card left already um, so Anita, uh, that mat you are using when you are ink, do you want that wh white it? Sorry Anita, are you talking about this? Or are you talking about the instructions underneath? 
let me know. We've got our final card to go. And oh, hello, Joan. Thank you. So this is a cleaning pad. It's a chamois. It's just a thick foam, I guess you could say, and you can keep it a bit damp. And I just use it to clean my stamps. And it's fantastic because it's so easy. All you need to do is rinse it off and you're good to go. It's cost economic, uh, cost efficient and I love that it just uses water. You don't need any special sprays. Um, so that's what I've been using to clean my stamp with. And this final card, I'm so very thankful for you. I think that's a lovely sentiment. So let's do use that one. Line that up. I'm going to give that one a clean. And we can stamp. Ink this up. Line it up as you can see because it's clear. It's quite easy to line up. Stamp. How can you get one? Anita, I will send you the link to my store and you can buy it right there. It is fantastic. It doesn't come in the case, though I should say it just comes the chamois if you have like an old DVD case or something. Uh, though the DVD cases do have that round circular bit, but or a stamp case that you're no longer using, it's perfect. We do sell the stamp cases, but they're sold in sets of four. I'm not sure if you needed all four, but if you wanted, you can definitely get that. I'll pop the link on for you when I finish this video. And this card uses this lovely diamond pattern right across there. How pretty is that? And we've just got to add our dimensionals and add the sentiment. And there you have it. Peel this one off. And that. And ta da! How easy was that? We've already created five cards ready to go for whenever we need to send them. Now, I wanted to point something out. There are these little stickers as well, the little glue dots in the kit. And there are these sheets. One, two, three. So what we could have done for each of those was add some of these details. We could have added some balloons. You're welcome, Anita. My pleasure. I could have added balloons to this. But we're going to take a look later on on how we can use these and extend our kit so next week i'm going to show you how to mix up the products here and then the week after our final lesson of card making 101 we will use the stamp set and this and a completely set different set of card bases and make extend our kit essentially and make more cards out of the kit getting more value for money for you there let's spread out these beautiful cards which one's your favorite let me know I can't decide they're all so beautiful are they all fitting in I think my son would really like that the little plane my father-in-law might like that they love to travel for some reason that one really reminds me of travel that's definitely brothers, brothers-in-laws. Lots of palm trees. They like their beach, but they also like their snow. I don't know. It's hard to choose which one I like best. So I have a link 
in the video description to my online store. You can purchase these products from me and have them directly sent to you. And if I can grab that, yep. I also have a customer loyalty program. So for every $50 you spend, I'll send you a little sticker and collect 10 stickers and you get a $50 product of your choice or a combination of products up to the value of $50 to as a reward for shopping with me. You like them all, Joan? Awesome. Uh, you like the birthday, the happy birthday one, Anita? Let's see, there's two birthday ones because I changed that up a bit. But yes, I like birthday cards. They're always handy to have. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. And I will be live again with Card Making 101 Lesson 9 on Monday. What's today's date? Today's the night, so 9 plus 7 is 26th, no, no, 16th, <laughs> not 26th, 16th of September, 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Love you to join me again. Thanks for watching and bye for now.